Hey everybody, one that always bored, never boring. It's Space Crusade. This is my third and hopefully most successful Space Crusade playthrough. We are going to be using the Imperial Fists. We are playing mission one from the adventure book, the same mission where my Ultramarines failed, the same mission where my Blood Angels failed. This time, it's going to be a different story. This time, the Imperial Fists have brought the big guns. We have one Marine with a Bolter, one Marine with a Missile Launcher, one Marine with a Plasma Gun, one Marine with an Assault Cannon, and our Commander with a Heavy Bolter. For equipment, we are giving the Commander a Bionic Eye, which will allow him to reroll one dice every time he shoots. We are also giving the Commander a Combi Weapon, which means he has a Plasma Gun built into his Heavy Bolter. That means we have four Heavy Weapons in this squad. As we have all these heavy weapons, we are taking suspensers. This means all of my marines will be able to move six spaces, even if they have a heavy weapon. Finally, we have a one-use item. It is blind grenades. You use this at the end of your turn. In the following turn, no aliens can attack any of your marines. For our special order, we are, of course, taking fire. This will allow all of the marines to fire twice in one turn. That is a lot of heavy weapon firepower. Let's get started. We're going to move our bolter. We are going one, two, three. We will open this door. Four, five, six. Because we have finished a Space Marine activation on an empty board, we have to spawn blips. As with my other playthroughs, I have divided the blips for this mission into four stacks. We're putting one stack per board. We are now going to move up the rest of our squad, and this is the trickiest part for the Imperial Fists. When they get the drop on the enemy, they can put some serious firepower down, but if all your Marines get shot down before it gets to your turn, it doesn't achieve anything, and we are quite squishy, as you may have noticed from previous playthroughs. But we are going to go with our Plasma Gun. One, two. We're just going to stay there behind that wall for now. Our missile launcher is going to go one, two, three. Our assault cannon is going to go one. And just stand on the other side of the airlock. And our commander is going to go and stand next to our plasma unit. It's the alien player's turn, so we start by drawing an event card. Suicide Android. Any one android may self-destruct after moving. As we have to play this card immediately, and as there is no android on the board, we can just discard that. That's a good start. Let's move some blips. One, two, reveal. It is a Gretchen. He is going to move one more space to here. And he's going to take a shot at our bolter with two white dice. Double zeros. Our second blip will go. One, two, and reveal. It's an orc. He is going to continue moving to here. Actually, you know what? He's got enough movement. He's going to come all the way to the corner and take a shot at our plasma gun. Rolling two dice. But it's double zero. Our third blip. One, two, three. Another Gretchen. He's going to move two more spaces and shoot. One, two. Double zeros, and we almost took a door out. We have four more blips behind this door. We are going. One, two, three, four, five. And we will reveal. That's another Gretchen. He's going to continue moving out into the corridor like so and he's going to take a shot at the plasma gun double zeros our next blip one two three four five that's an orc he's going to stay where he is and he's going to take a shot at the plasma gun from there and that is a three that kills my plasma unit the other blips are going to lurk a little bit for now. They're going to go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. 
we are going to start with our commander. He is going to go one, two, three, four. As he's moved here, we reveal this blip. It's a Chaos Marine. Okay, our commander was going to fire a plasma shot through the Orc and the Gretchen. I think instead he's going to turn his attention to that Marine. He rolls two red dice. That's a three. And the Chaos Marine has an armor class of two. So we have killed the Chaos Marine. Five victory points for the Marines. I think next I'm going to use my missile launcher and it's a bit suboptimal but I'm going to drop a missile in the middle of this group of three green skins. If I can roll at least two on one dice I will wipe them all out. So we'll move to here. We roll our two red dice and we have rolled a two. We've also taken out another door but we have rolled a two. With the missile launcher the square that you target will take the combined value of the two dice. All of the adjacent spaces will take the value of the highest dice. Orcs have an armor class of one, Gretchen have an armor class of zero, so all three of those models are destroyed. Now we're starting to get some experience points. Next up we will move the assault cannon, he's obviously going to move into the corridor and try and kill those two Gretchen. He will go one, two, three, four, five. He rolls two red dice and he can distribute the values rolled among any visible targets. He's rolled a four there, more than enough to kill both Gretchen. Clean up on aisle five. We have our bolter left to move. He is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. Actually, he will go to there. He's got the movement to go to there. And that will make it harder for the missile launcher to get shot with anything that comes around the corner. It is now the alien player's turn. We have drawn report in. Play on one of the marine players. That player may not move or attack with his commander miniature on his next turn as his commander must report in. We only have one blip on the board at the moment. And we are going to reveal it because... If it is a missile launcher, it might be able to uh, lay down some fire on these two marines here. Sometimes when you've only got one blip left, it's better just to stay hidden, wait for the marines to come to you, spawn some more blips on the new board section and go from there. But let's see what we get. One, two, and we reveal. It's just a Gretchen. And no grenade for you, sir. Being but a lowly Gretchen and somewhat doomed to die, he may as well try to do as much damage as possible. So I think he's going to squeeze past the Bolter Marine and try and take a shot at my missile launcher. From there. But he rolls a double zero. At the start of the Marine player's turn, the commander starts reporting in. He says, Brother Plasma Dude hasn't made it. Meanwhile, my Bolter is going to take a shot at that Gretchen with two white dice. It's a double nothing and I don't have any re-rolls or anything. So we will just ignore that and move on. One, two, three... to there we have finished our activation in a new board section so there will be some blip spawns it may be time for a new camera angle you may not be able to see them all but we have two blips behind this door two blips behind this door two behind this door and one here in the corridor next up my missile launcher is going to shoot this Gretchen square in the face And somehow, unbelievably, the Gretchen survives. So we will move on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Guess the assault cannon's gonna have a go at this Gretchen too. He's going to go one, two, three, four, five. And he will shoot the Gretchen from there. 
And that's a two and a zero, more than enough to finally kill this annoying Gretchen. Two victory points, and for anybody keeping track, we have wiped the first stack that spawned on the first board. Oh, and by the way, forgot to mention, every time I'm moving onto a new board, I am rolling to see whether the Dreadnought appears. When I moved onto the second board, I rolled a red dice, and if I rolled a three, he would have appeared. When I move onto the third board, I will roll a red dice, and on a three or a two, he will appear. And then, if he hasn't appeared by then, he will appear on the final board. When I entered this second board, I rolled the red dice, and funnily enough, I rolled a zero, so he is not on this board. Anyway, enough of that, it's the alien player's turn. We have drawn Alien Task Force, mix up the unused reinforcement tokens and then pick two at random to add to your reinforcement pool. Alien Task Force is an interesting card to pick for Mission 1 because in Mission 1 you do not get any reinforcement tokens and you do not have a reinforcement pool. So I think in this case we're just going to ignore that card. Let's start doing something with these blips. We will open this door and we will go one, two, three, four, and reveal. That's a Chaos Marine. Chaos Marines can move up to six spaces. He has moved four. He is going to move into the room and take his shot at the missile launcher. So he will go five, six to there. We roll two white dice. And we have rolled a one. Now we'll open this door. And as soon as this blip moves forward one, our commander can see it, so it reveals. And that's a Chaos Marine with a missile launcher. Thankfully, all of my Marines are nicely spread out. So he is going to go two, three, four. That's his maximum movement because he's carrying a heavy weapon. But he can see our missile launcher from there, and that's who he's going to shoot at. And it's a two! Space Marines have an armor class of two, so that is a narrow escape for my missile launcher. Our next blip will move and reveal. Thankfully, it's just a Gretchen. I was beginning to think a Chaos Commander was going to come around the corner. He's going to scurry all the way down to the bottom of the board and he will take a shot at the missile launcher as well. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Rolling two white dice. It's a double zero. We have survived something of an onslaught here. Okay, we have some blips behind this door here. We will go one, two, three, four, and reveal. And that's an orc. He can't really get a bead on any of the marines in the bottom room, so he's going to nip next door and have a shot at the commander instead. Two white dice. He's rolled a three. That actually penetrates our commander's armor and inflicts one wound. We are down to five, and unlike our ultramarines commander, we do not have a medikit. So we don't want too much of that happening. We have one more blip. It is going to go one, two, three, four, five, and reveal here. And that is another orc. Spurred on by the success of his brother, he is going to take a shot at the commander as well. But that's a double zero. That's more like the orc he's shooting I expect. Behind this door we have two more blips. They are going to move a little closer but they aren't going to engage at this moment. So we open the door and we will go one, two, three, four, five. And the other one will go one, two, three, four, five. Okay, it's the start of the Marine player's turn. I am very tempted to use my fire command, but I'm not in the best positions to do it. And the fire command is really quite useful when the Dreadnought turns up. So I think I'm going to play my turn normally, and if things go badly, I will drop my blind grenades, which means I won't take any attacks in my next turn. So to start with, my marine with the bolter here is going to go one, two, three, four. Yeah, why not? Five, six. He's going to move out into the corridor so we can find out what these two blips are. More orky shenanigans. 
And now my bolter is going to shoot this orc here. Rolling two white dice. Double zero, that is not good enough. Okay, next up my assault cannon is going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six. He rolls two red dice. Let's hope for, I don't know, a six. That'd be nice. He's rolled a two, which isn't great, but it's not the worst thing that could happen. He hasn't rolled enough to kill any of those marines, but he has rolled enough to kill this orc here. And that's going to be important. Three victory points. Next up, my commander is going to move. He is going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. And now he has two Chaos Marines nicely lined up in his sights, and he's going to activate his combi weapon and fire the plasma gun. We roll two red dice, and every model in a line is hit for that total value, which means we need a total of three. Well, we rolled a zero on that dice, and the other dice went through this door, but it was a one. That's not great, but I do have a bionic eye that lets me have a re-roll, so obviously I'm going to re-roll that zero. And there is a two. That's a total of three. Both of these marines are hit with a three. That is enough to bypass their armor. That kills them both. That is 15 experience points, and now we are cooking with classical gas. Of course, the missile launcher is going to pop around the corner and try and take out these two orcs that are just hanging out there. One, two, three, four, five, six. We'll fire at this one. This one will take the splash damage. That is a total of three. So this one is hit for three. This one is hit for two. That kills them both. This has been a good turn. That is six more victory points and everything is coming up roses. It's the end of my turn. I could, if I wanted to, play my blind grenades, but with just a Gretchen and an Orc on the board and with no chance of any more blips arriving this turn, it would be a waste. There is always, of course, with my dice rolling, a risk that this Orc and this Gretchen will do some serious harm, but we will hope otherwise. For now, we will just soak up the punishment. We draw an alien event card. It's the Imperial Fist player's worst nightmare, but a really good time for it to happen. We have the weapons jammed action, which says play on one of the Marine players. That player may not fire any heavy weapons on his next turn, which means only my commander and my regular bolter guy will be able to attack. That card does somewhat change what the alien player was planning to do because the first instinct was to try and kill the heavy weapons. But if we can kill the bolter this turn, then we basically won't take any shots in return, apart from one shot from the commander, who I'm going to assume isn't allowed to use his combi weapon plasma gun based on that event. It's a little bit of a gray area, but we'll still let him use his heavy bolter as normal. So instead, yeah, we're going to take shots at the bolter instead. Our Gretchen is going to go one, two, three, four, two white dice, double nothings. And our Orc will go one, two, three to here and shoot with two white dice. Double nothings again. Okay, the Marine players will retaliate. We will start with our commander. He is going to shoot the orc because the orc has the highest armor of the two targets and our commander rolls two red dice. We need a two. We have rolled a three. That is enough. We kill another orc. The hits just keep on coming. That's another three points. Now our commander is going to head on out. I think he's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, but he is not going to go into the next room because I don't want any more blips spawning at the moment. Next up, we're going to get our heavy weapons out of the way of this Gretchen, just in case. One, two, three, four, five, six behind the wall. And we will go one, two, three, 
four, five. Open the door. And six. Our bolter will shoot at the Gretchen. He rolls two white dice and he needs a one. But he rolls a double zero. So he is going to go... One, two, three, four. Like so. Yes, we're all running away from the Gretchen, and we're all staying nicely spread out in case he has a grenade. Fortunately, next turn we will be able to fire our heavy weapons again. We draw our alien event card. Luck is with us, it's a mech assault. All the androids and the dreadnought may move up to twice their normal move this turn as well as attack. Of course, we have no androids or dreadnoughts on the board. Our little sneaky Gretchen is going to go... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And he is going to shoot at the assault cannon. But it's a double zero. It's time for a camera angle change. Right, we're going to start with our Bolter Marine. He is going to take a shot at the Gretchen with two white dice. He has rolled a zero and just caught by that wall. A one, that is enough to kill the Gretchen. And that is our second stack of Xenos cleared. Our Marine is now going to move. One, two, three, four, five, and open this door. And we will go six to there. We are on a new board, so we are going to spawn some blips. First of all, we are going to roll our red dice. On a three or a two, the Dreadnought will appear. It's a zero, so no Dreadnought. The Marines have been a bit clever here. Because we have this Marine in here, we have eyes on this room, we also have eyes on this room, no blips can spawn on any of those places. Furthermore, our commander is within six spaces of this door, which means he can get to that door, open it, and nuke whatever is in this room with his plasma gun. So we don't really want to place any blips in here either. So really, we have to put our blips as far away as possible, really. And that will have to do. Next up, the commander will go... One, two, three, four, five. Open the door. Six. Out of line of sight. Our missile launcher would love to be able to open these two doors and get the drop on these guys here, but he cannot do it this turn, so he is going to go... One, two, three, four... Mm, four. It's going to stay around the corner. And our assault cannon will go... Uh, one, two... Three, four, five, six, and just stand there. And that's the end of the round. Our next alien event is Android Fault. You may not move or fire any of the androids or the Dreadnought this turn due to a control malfunction. Now for the first time in three playthroughs, I'm actually a little bit concerned about the aliens rather than the Marines, 